Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at how to use easy mode for your Galaxy Note 5. I'm going to come into my settings and then we're going to swipe over to the personal tab. Now that I'm here, I'm going to tap on easy mode, which is about in the middle of the screen. And here I can see my easy mode options. Now to use my device in easy mode, it's going to be a simpler home screen layout. It's really, really basic and really simple. And it can be easier if you find yourself being overwhelmed with the general usage of the Note 5. So now that I've tapped on easy mode, everything is kind of highlighted. You see down below my easy applications, I can turn these on or off. So I have access to the camera, email, gallery, internet, messages, music, phone, calendar, and then video. Now if I didn't want, say, for example, music or video, I can just toggle those off. And those applications will not be on the easy mode. So now that I have everything set up, if I tap done, it's going to launch the easy mode launcher. You see everything here is quite large. My app icons are out here. Here's my main home screen where I have my phone, messages, internet, camera. I have a nice big clock. Everything has been made substantially larger and kind of simplified to make things easier for you. Now if I swipe over to the left here, I can add in some contacts. So if I tap on a contact, you see I can either create or add an existing contact. So these are going to be kind of quit toggles. If I tap create contact, I can create a new contact. Add an existing contact, we'll use ones that are in my address book. Swipe over to the right and here's some applications that I can use. And if I tap on the plus button, I can actually view all the applications that are on my device and choose to add one out here. So if I want to Google Maps out there on that screen, I can do that. And then it's going to open up Google Maps whenever I tap on this icon to launch one of those. And tapping more apps will open up the app drawer and I can see all my icons nice, big and large and ready for me to use. Now from one of the home screens, what I can also do is tap on the edit button and this is going to allow me to remove applications. And then I can even add another home page for other apps or another home page for context. But if you're starting to do that, I would feel like you'd probably just want to go back into regular mode. You're starting to get into a little bit more than what easy mode was designed for and you're going to start customizing your phone. Now something that's really neat about easy mode is you still have access to the S Pen. So if you pull out the S Pen, it still invokes Air Command and you can use all of your regular S Pen applications here such as the Action Memo, your Smart Select, your Screen Write, your S Note. You can even still add in your own custom shortcuts. So I thought that was really nice that you can still use the S Pen even in easy mode. Now if you ever wanted to exit the easy mode, all you have to do is come into the settings, tap on easy mode right here in your quick settings, and then just tap on standard mode, tap done, and your phone is going to respring right here into the standard mode where you have all of your regular looking applications and regular interface. So that is how you use easy mode on your Galaxy Note 5. And for more Note 5 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.